Hey guys, Jeff with OptionBoxer.com. Wanted to talk to you tonight about creating a custom recurring alert inside of Thinkorswim. I just got annoyed having to always reset my alerts on, on the program. And so I thought there was probably a way or I hope there was a way. And fortunately for me, there was. Uh, if you saw a recent video I did, I've been trying my hand at day trading futures. And so in order to make that viable, I needed something to alert me when my setups were occurring because I just couldn't watch the chart all day while I was at work. And so I was able to find a solution to this problem and I wanted to share it with you because I thought somebody out there might find value in it. The first thing, of course, that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to figure out what you want alerted to. Do you want to be alerted when price crosses over a moving average? Do you want to be alerted when price is at a certain price level? Do you want to be alerted when the MACD crosses over? Do you want to, do you want to know when volume is increasing? Whatever the case is or whatever your particular criteria is to potentially take a trade, um, you just need to identify that before you can create the alert. This next part is really the hard part and that's attempting to tell Thinkorswim what you want them to look for because some some of the things just don't make sense and I'll share with you what I mean by that uh, as we go through this. It's just kind of funny. I, I ended up, when I first set out to do this, I ended up creating an alert that had Thinkorswim looking into the future, which was very strange and in, so it just kind of alerted me randomly with nonsense. It didn't serve any purpose and I kept getting these alerts at 2, 3, 4 a.m. Um, you know the futures market trades overnight so I was getting just some some crazy alerts that weren't even remotely close to what it is I was looking for and so I had to go back to the drawing board and kind of recreate it and I'll share with you those steps here and kind of all the the functions or the the settings that you need to look for uh, to be able to set up an alert for yourself as well as you know I look for price or as you may know if you're new to the channel thanks for being here uh, but as you may know I look for price to have crossed over the 9 EMA as kind of my trigger to, to potentially take a trade and so I just wanted to create an alert that would notify me when price on the one hour chart had crossed above or crossed below and in order for me to do that I had to create two different alerts and so we're gonna go ahead and go to the alerts tab uh, alert screen now uh, if you're if you're just setting up an alert for the first time you can do it a couple of ways you can go to market watch and you can click uh, type in a symbol and create an alert that way I prefer just to create my, my alerts from the chart, which I do every single time. And I would just simply right click on the screen, create alert. If you wanted to use a technical indicator, you would just highlight, you see how I think or swim, it kind of highlights, you would just right, right click there and then create alert that way. But since I already have the alerts created uh, here, I'm just gonna create a similar alert so we can look at the settings. You'll see right here, I've kind of just wrote in the note screen, cross above. That way when it, when I get the text message on my phone or I get the email, it'll just say cross above. That way I don't have to kind of decipher if you've ever received an alert text message from Thinkorswim. You'll know it gets very wordy and it's kind of tough to, to see it all. Basically, I just wanna know when price has, has crossed below the 9 EMA and when it is closed. If you set this up without following the steps that I'm going to show you here, Thinkorswim will alert you every time price crosses the 9 EMA. Um, I, I trade, I'm, I'm using this as an alert on the one hour chart. If you've ever set up an alert, it just gets annoying when price kind of bounces around above and below the 9 EMA moving average line. And it doesn't serve any purpose because you want to know, or I want to know, uh, when it closes below the 9 EMA or closes in this case above the 9 EMA. So let's go and take a look at the settings here. Uh, you'll see the symbol is MES, which is the micro E minis. And, uh, and so the first thing you're going to want to do is come down here to study. Uh, you can see I've got a number of them there. Yours will look different in this box. And then you're going to want to go to edit, click delete and click add condition. From here, you'll just kind of walk through the steps. So I want to look at price. I want price. I want the closing price. And this is kind of the, the unique I guess part about the code that I've entered is I have to offset this by one bar because I don't want it to alert me every time pro price crosses over the moving average line. I want it to, to tell me when price has closed and the new bar has painted. What you want to see, you have to enter just a one so it'll look uh, from one bars ago. Uh, the next setting you want to select is right here. Again, I'm using the one hour chart. You could use the daily chart, the weekly, whatever you're comfortable with or whatever you're attempting to set up. You could also use the crosses uh, if you were interested to, but I think that was, is going to alert you to when it crosses above or when it crosses below, however many times that happens. And that's what I was trying to avoid. So for me, I just set it to cross above. So when the closing price crosses above from one bar ago, then I want it to alert me to the exponential moving average. 
and it already comes pre-populated with the nine period length, the closing price, and there's no offset to the average line. And you can scroll down and you can, you can change any of those settings if you want to, but I want it to alert me to cross above. I would save that. And then you can come right here in this screen. This is a helpful screen if you've never used this before to see what I mean. So I'm going to add the study just so you can kind of follow along. I'm going to add the moving average study. And so you can see every time this, this blue line down here in this subgraph uh, kind of highlights up is when a crossover occurred. So you can see price crossed over the nine period EMA and closed there. And then on the very next bar, it alerted me to that fact. And so you can see if I had taken this trade, it would have been a nice, nice trade to take. I could have just continually moved my stop as price continued higher. Price across above here, and then I got alerted here. If this were the uh, other alert that I've created from across below, I would have been alerted on this candle as well at the, at the open of this candle. So you can see had I got in on the open, that would have been a nice move to the downside. But in every instance, and it's not... It, just like every trading strategy, you're going to have winners, you're going to have losers. It, does, it is nice. You can see here price again crossed above, and then I got the alert on this candle at the open. So it went from 4,005, you can see on the right side of your screen, all the way to 4,029. So that would have been a really nice day trade if I was able to get that notification. You can see it happens over and over and over again. You can see right here would have been a, just a terrible losing trade. You can see price had crossed over and then on this huge downward bar, this might have been the, the Fed meeting that happened the other day when price just fell off a cliff. And so it would not have been a good time to trade. So just make sure you're aware that, that nothing's perfect, uh, but it does highlight a lot of trades and it gives me an opportunity to get into the market and see what's going on without having to stare at the screen all day, which I enjoy to do some days but I, I can't do with my day job. So again, after the, after you've set that, you click create alert, but this is kind of the button right here that you got to kind of look out for. If you don't select the time frame there or the time frame differs from what you selected right here, it, Thinkorswim may not let you create the alert. There's a little bit of a bug there, uh, or maybe, maybe it's not a bug and I just don't know how to operate it properly. Uh, but I have noticed that when this is different or if you don't enter that first, sometimes it won't let you create the alert. And then you would just simply click OK. Now I've already created the, uh, the alert, so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, the next thing, once, you, once you're back to this screen, you'd want to come down here and you'd want to select your settings. Now, I'll tell you, if you get an email sent to you, it's going to take a while. And so you may not get the alert in time for you to be able to act on the alert. Um, so a, a text message usually comes through within seconds of the, the alert happening. Obviously on the platform itself, you're going to get the alert as soon as it happens. It does take maybe five to 10 seconds, I would say in general for the text message to come through. I don't have push notifications set up on my phone. I may try that as well in the future to see if that gives me a quicker alert. It may. Uh, but so far, text messages have been fine to give me the heads up that, hey, there might be a trading opportunity uh, fast approaching. Once you've picked those settings, you'll come down here to options, and this is where you're going to make the alert recurring. That way, it doesn't end or doesn't cancel the alert after it triggers. You would simply click create regular alert, and, and then once you create that, it's just going to create a, an alert that never ends. In any case, that's uh, that's how I did it. I, like I said at the outset, I also created the same alert to to show me when a cross below happened. And I wanted to share these with you. If they make if they didn't make sense, you could certainly ask me a question in the comments. I'm always interested to talk to other traders. Guys, that's all for this video. I appreciate you guys taking the time to like, subscribe, uh, to comment, to to visit my website. All of it really really means a lot, and I appreciate each and every one of you. But until the next video, God bless and take care.